Algebraic expressions and identities. In this lesson, you will learn about algebraic expressions. Expression consists of variables, constants, and algebraic operations. For example, in y plus 9, y is variable. 9 is known as constant and the addition sign is called operation. Many more expressions can be formed by using two or more variables. For example, 5xy minus 12. Here xy is a variable. Minus 12 is a constant and algebraic operation used is subtraction. Let us see one more example. 12a plus 7. Here variable is a, 7 is constant, an operation used is addition. Here we can see that the value of a in the expression 12a plus 7 may be anything. The value of an expression changes with the value chosen for the variables it contains. Thus, as a takes on different values, the value of 12a plus 7 goes on changing. For instance, if a is equal to 3, then 12a plus 7 becomes 12 times 3 plus 7. We get 36 plus 7 equal to 43. Similarly, if a is equal to 4, then 12a plus 7 becomes 12 times 4 plus 7. We get 48 plus 7 equal to 55. We can see that the value of an expression changes with the value chosen for the variables it contains. Algebraic expressions, we do not write the sign of multiplication. An algebraic expression containing only variables also has the constant 1 associated with it. Now let us see how expression can be shown in number line. Let us consider the expression x plus 4. Let's see this in the number line x can be anywhere on the number line. In this example, x plus 4, the distance between 0 to point 4 is x plus 4. Similarly, for 2x plus 6, here the value of x is twice. So the distance between 0 to 0 is 2x and from 0 to point 6 is 2x plus 6. Look at this expression 3x plus 2. This expression is made up of two terms, 3x and 2. Terms are added to form expressions. Terms themselves can be formed as the product of factors. Here the term 3x is the product of its factor 3 and x and the term 2 is made up of just one factor, that is 2. The numerical factor of a term is called its coefficient. The coefficient in the term 3x is 3. Now we will see factors. For example, in this expression 3x square plus 6x plus 2, there are three terms and each term are formed by one or two factors. For 3x square, factors are 3 and x square. Similarly, for 6x factors are 6 and x and the term 2 is made up of just one factor that is 2. Can you guess the coefficient in the expression 3x square plus 6x plus 2? Yes, the coefficient in the term 3x square is 3 and the coefficient in the term 6x is 6. Let's check one more example. 8xy minus 7x has two terms, 8xy and minus 7x. The term 8xy is a product of factors 8, x and y and minus 7x is a product of factor minus 7 and x. The coefficient in the term 8xy is 8 and minus 7x is 
minus 7. Terms are classified into two types, like terms and unlike terms. Let us first learn about like terms. The terms that look alike or same are known as like terms. For example, in the expression 6x square plus 4x square minus 2xy minus 5x square plus 3xy, we can see some term look as same as in 6x square, 4x square, 5x square. Similarly, with minus 2xy and 3xy are like terms. On the contrary, unlike terms look different from each other. For example, 3x square y minus 5y cube x plus 6xy minus 10. Here we can see no terms look alike. All the terms look different from each other. So we can call them unlike terms. Look at this expression. 10ab plus 9a square minus 4a square b minus 2xy plus 3y square b. Do you think these are unlike terms? Yes. In these expressions also, we can see that no terms are same. All are different from each other. So these terms are referred as unlike terms. Therefore, we can say that terms with same variables are known as like terms, while terms with different variables are known as unlike terms. Let us now understand about monomials, binomials and polynomials. Expression which contain only one term is called monomial. Mono means single, refers to single term. For example, 6xy. Here we can see that this has only single term, so it is known as monomial. Let us see some more example. 9ab, a square b, 31y square z, minus 6xy square are monomials as they have only one term. Now let us learn about binomials. Expression that consists of two terms is called binomials. Here bi refers to two terms. For example, a plus b. Here we can see that this has two terms, a and b, with an operation between them, so they are known as binomial. Let us see some more examples. 2ab square minus 7. 4a square minus 9xy a square plus b square. Here these expressions have two terms each, so they are referred as binomial. Now expression which consists three terms are called trinomials. Here tri refers to three terms. Example, a plus b plus c. We can see that there are three terms in this expression. That is a, b and c. Look at this expression, a square minus 3ab minus b square. Here also we can see that there are three terms, a square, 3ab and b square. Hence it is known as trinomial. Let's check some more examples. 2a minus 5b plus 5c. 7x square plus 3xy minus 4. 4a square b plus 2b square minus 5. In this also, there are three terms, so they are said to be trinomials. Polynomials is an expression that consists of one or more terms with variables having no negative exponents and non-zero coefficient. For example, look at this expression. This expression contains four terms, so it is said to be a polynomial. Let's check some more expression. 4xy, 9abc minus 5, 3x plus 8y plus 9z. Here we can see 4xy consists one term. Expression 9abc minus 5 consists two terms. Expression 3x plus 8y 
plus 9z consists three terms. Hence, all these are said to be polynomial. Let us summarize all that we learned in this module on algebraic expression and identity.